Upsource 2017.1 contains a number of new features and enhancements to make code reviews easier. We've added full text search across all projects, so Upsource will find text within any file, in any branch, in any project. It will even locate deleted files that contain the text. It's now easier to create reviews. Upsource detects when you've changed code that was authored by someone else and suggests you can create a review for this commit and the original author is automatically added as a reviewer. If you've created a review and you're wondering what the status is, you can now hover over a reviewer and see how much of the code they've reviewed and when they last looked at it. For GitHub projects, you can also now see at a glance the merge status of the code. Upsource can now detect if the commits that made up a review are no longer there for a valid reason. For example, this case, where the commits have been rebased into a squash commit. Upsource can update the review to use the new squashed commit. The reviews page has been updated so it's easier to filter the reviews you're interested in. These predefined searches help you see different subsets of reviews. Search in Upsource is always improving, and in 2017.1, we've added two new query keywords, closed and closed by, to help you find reviews that were closed by a particular person at a particular time. Upsource 2017.1 gives you an updated personal profile page. From here, you can see all your commits, your reviews, and your projects. You can also see your personalized newsfeed, and from here, do things like add labels to your comments or resolve them. You can personalize other things too. You can now enable browser notifications and personalize these. And this latest version of Upsource includes Fira code, a font that enables ligatures for prettier lambda expressions. The administration area has also been redesigned. The project options have been reorganized into separate tabs to group them logically and make them easier to find. And the code intelligence for Gradle has been enhanced, so you can configure your Gradle properties and Gradle init script. New custom workflows have been added. You can close reviews automatically and resolve discussions automatically, and of course configure these settings. The workflow for adding revisions to reviews has also been updated, so you can have revisions that mention an issue number automatically added to a review, and you can choose to ignore merge commits. These aren't the only changes. There's also support for Android Studio projects, basic GitLab support, which lets you see pull requests from GitLab in Upsource, and an Upsource 2017.1 Docker image. Thanks for watching.